High resolution geometry in your scene can look fantastic. However, you may not always need high resolution models for your rendering or animation. This is especially true if you're working in the real time simulation or games industry. There are also times when you will receive a high resolution model from someone and will need to reduce the polygon count down to a certain level. This is where Maya's polygon reduction tool can come in very handy. Here, we're looking at a fairly high-resolution 3D model of a concept car. The car model has over 360,000 faces. Select the front driver side quarter panel. This quarter panel has just over 12,000 faces, which is far too many for our purposes. Let's use the Polygon Reduction tool to reduce the number of polygons in this quarter panel while maintaining the overall shape and quality of the geometry. From the main menu, select Mesh, Reduce Options to open the Reduce Options dialog. The first option, Keep Original, will perform polygon reduction while maintaining a copy of the original geometry. Leave this unchecked. We have three options for the reduction method. Expand the Reduction Method dropdown. We can choose from Percentage, Vertex Limit, or Triangle Limit. The Percentage option allows us to set a percentage based on the current number of polygons, where 0% is no reduction and 100% is maximum reduction. Vertex Limit sets the total number of vertices that will be allowed in the final object. Triangle Limit does the same thing and lets you set the total number of triangles that will remain in the reduced polygon model. Let's select Triangle Limit. Set the Triangle Limit value to 1000 and press Enter. Under the Shape rollout, you have several options that affect the overall shape of the reduced model. Preserve Quads will cause Maya to try and maintain quad polygons in the reduced geometry. The higher the value, the more quad polygons will remain in the final reduced model. Sharpness allows you to strike a balance between maintaining small details and whether they give way to larger polygons. The higher the value, the more likely that the smaller, tighter details will be kept. Set the sharpness value to 0.5. If you are reducing a symmetrical model, you can use the symmetry type to make sure the geometry is symmetrical along a plane. This can be set to automatic, or you can specify a specific plane of symmetry. The Feature Preservation option gives you the ability to have the Polygon Reduction tool preserve specific features that have been applied to the model. For example, if the placement of the border of a polygon model is critical to the geometry, you can increase the value of the Mesh Borders option. Increasing the value will preserve polygon edges that are not shared by other polygons. There are also options for UV borders, color borders, material borders, hard edges, and creased edges. If you are an advanced user and you need to know how the reduction tool re-indexed the vertices of your model, you can create a vertex index map. This allows you to compare the original model vertex indices with the reduced model vertex indices. Click Apply to reduce the number of polygons in the selected object. Notice that this has reduced the model to 1,000 faces. By clicking Apply, we can then select another object in the scene and apply the same parameters for its polygon reduction. For example, Select the front quarter panel on the right side of the car, and then click Apply again, and we can reduce the number of faces on that object as well. Now close the Reduce Options dialog. Reselect the front left quarter panel. Switch to the Attribute Editor. In the Attribute Editor, use the right arrow to navigate to the Poly Reduce 1 tab. In the Reduction Method rollout, Change the triangle limit to 2000 and press Enter. This updates the object 
and changes the number of polygons in the reduced version to 2000. By using the polygon reduction tools, you are able to create production ready assets for games and simulation more quickly from high resolution models.